I want Armenia to succeed. And I believe that the young generation, the new generation, is going to move Armenia to the right direction. And I would never abandon that belief. Mr. Kevor Kovnanian had a successful business in Iraq. Until 1958, where we have a revolution in Iraq. Very uh, bloody revolution. And I decided this is not a place for me to stay. He came to the United States with family only. He started, and I know that. He had lots of struggles, lots of problems, but he never gave up. The fourth year I started a $35 million project, and our company's net worth was about $100,000. Book. Those are the projects. I figured there are more people who could afford less expensive houses than expensive houses. It wasn't the money which was driving me, really. But I was driven by t accomplishing something. Nineteen eighty eight was a time border for Armenia and Gyumri when one of the most disastrous earthquakes struck, taking lives of twenty five thousand people and leaving most of Gyumri population without family, shelter, job and savings. Serpazan Torkom he contacted me at seven o'clock in the morning. He said, Kebork, I want you to come with me. You know, there's earthquake. You have experience in building, housing, and this is a place where you could probably help. I said, okay, I'll be there. I'll come. When? He said, in a couple of days. Four days later, we're there. This is the thing which went yeah. to Yerevan. It was emotional. It was disappointing to see these people carrying their dead. They were thousands of coffins made from few lumber put together, and they were selling them. Cars were going, every car had a one or two coffin on, on top. It was horrible. And a committee was created chaired by Mr. Hovnanyan and then Vice Chair Dr. Hovsepian and other dedicated people to reach to the needs of Armenia. And based on the request of Vaskem Vehapar, uh, Mr. Hovnanyan had the vision uh, to build houses based on the American uh, style. And I thought in Ayastan, it's a dry climate. You don't have to worry about mildew or anything. I said, we could do, we could build wooden houses for them, like America. So I had all American guys, I sent about six or seven of them. And the prime minister was against having wooden houses. I said, if there were all wooden houses, the casualty wouldn't be this high because it's light and it's put together, there will be a lot of cavities for people to survive. He said, yes, Shemin Imanum. But I did it anyway. It was our money, it was church's money I was spending. Yes, Guhar Bashoyan, Saim Benakaran, Statselin Kazarina Runes and Yeskut Vaganin. Yes, Grashar Ritan Michape Seto. Molor Shivar Nastats, Yer Pankarts Heitnevets, Baron Hovnanyana. Kaparigortsun Aretz Mesamar, Karutsets Ais Benakaran, Vochmia in Karutsets, Ailev Kahavorets, Hohanotsain Kahuikov, Sarnaranov, Takatsutsichov, 
օկտվելով արիթից երախտագիտական գոսկս և խորին շնորակալությունս եմ հաղիտնում պարոն Հովնանյանին այսպիսի շկեղ, պարահեղ բնակարանը վայելելու համար և ծանկանում նրան երկար տարիների առողջ և անհոտ կյանք։ to become independent. And I remember how Mr. Hovnanian's eyes were shining. And in some way, uh, in his eyes, you know, I saw the eyes of many, many Armenians, you know, uh, Armenians who dreamed, uh, who fought, and also who died that Armenia becomes a free country. So Mr. Hovnanian is the first who had the vision buying a building and donating to the Republic of Armenia as the UN mission building. I thought that I'd give them some more prestige when they invite somebody else from United Nations. And this gentleman, this young man, unexperienced, he is entertaining in his office for a drink and so on. And they didn't have any place. I said, that's the best thing I could do. I feel that I have done something which will help the people of Armenia. I can say that my dream has come true. I'm a journalist and I'm working at Shan TV. I'm very happy because I do my favorite work. Uh, but I knew that if uh, it wasn't FAR and Montevosian scholarship, maybe I wouldn't be a journalist, maybe I wouldn't get high education. Maybe I'm lucky. I believe the far bringing, taking children from the police station, giving them a home, that was a very important thing. This is Fund for Armenian Relief Children Reception and Orientation Center. Here we are trying to help children who are in difficult situations. Because of help of all our diaspora and far friends and far donors, and especially Mr. Hunanyan. For many, many children, more than thousand, it became a chance for them, the only chance to survive, to be safe in safe environment. We are so happy to be able to help these children. They are all need a lot this kind of help. I think each person has a mission when he or she is born and the mission is to help people who really need it. And the life is not in vain when you make a difference in lives of other people. The senior center is a real example. This is Mrs. Arisak. She's alone and it's hard to imagine how she survives in those conditions without water and sewerage and she has nothing to survive. But the senior center helped her so much She's able to live a normal life and she's able to smile. Whereas before, before coming to the senior center, you could never see her smile. Now she smiles, thanks to the senior center. We are happy that we are in position to help others. Thank you words are not enough to express all the thoughts that we would like to express, especially to Mr. Hovnanyan, who really made so much difference in lives of so many people here in Gyumri. Hundreds, no, thousands of people really are grateful to Mr. Hovnanyan and really pray for his health and express their deep gratitude for everything he did. He made a difference. <laughs> Yes, Artem, Irok, Kortan Vatskaline. Ushat Med, Jakata Grakans, Hammer to make a time at a museum. There's no if yes, no, not just over. Shachnorakana. And I hope that future generations will learn uh, from the life experience, from the achievements of uh, Mr. Kevor Kovnanian. I just want to see people. Happy.